Oh. Hello YouTube, Sentinel Age here, and welcome to episode 8 of my Rotary Craft tutorial series. Um, so, last episode we talked all about the gas engines, and uh, this episode we're going to be talking about some a much simpler method uh, thing. Um, just for a simpler video, uh, we're going to talk about how you can produce obsidian um, from nothing but cobblestone. So let's get started. This isn't going to be a very long video, so I might make another one tonight. Probably not, though. Maybe come out tomorrow. But anyway, um, one thing I'm, I uh, I geeked out today when I logged into my account and I saw that Reika, the mod author, has uh, commented on some of my tutorials. And one of the things mentioned and reminded uh, was about um, muffling engine noise. Um, now, if you remember a couple of episodes back, uh, the um, extra utilities muffler didn't work so well on these engines. It kind of glitched out. Um, but anyway. One way you can muffle sound in the mod is if you take some wool blocks and you cover the engine like this. You see, it's basically stopped making any noise. So that's one. That's one way you can muffle engine noise. Um, Reka says there's uh, three methods. I don't know the other two, <laughs> uh, but, but I, I can't do that for these ones because they'll catch fire. <laughs> the wool will catch fire. Um, but anyway, so. Uh, how to make um, obsidian? Well, first we need to make lava, and to make lava we need to use the rock melter, uh, which is a really simple machine. It's created with a reservoir, a steel gear, two base panels, a shaft unit, and four steel ingots. And again, this little screen is kind of... Oh, there we go. Now you can see it. Rock melter. And what the rock melter does, if I go and place it over here, what I've done is I've set up uh, uh, some power system to power these things. Um, the rock melter you can just you can just power it with uh, a steam engine it'll be fine it doesn't actually say what how much power it requires but it'll run off of a steam engine but now we need uh, we need cobblestone and so why not uh, use the opportunity to set up a, uh, a simple little uh, cobble generator so this is the the way I like to do did I do this right? no, I this wrong and this is a incredibly simple cobble generator that I use. But uh, we don't want to have to sit here and break it ourselves. So I, I thought, why not take the opportunity to mention one of Reika's other mods? Um, expanded redstone adds several things that I use in conjunction with uh, Rotary Craft a lot. Um, so we're going to make the block breaker, which is crafted with an, uh, this is the iron, uh, harvest level. There's a bunch of block breakers and this one's the iron one. So it's just an iron pickaxe and a piece of redstone surrounded by some cobblestone. Gives you a block breaker. Put this down here. And then if we put it over here, turn it around. Is it facing the right way? Let's check. No, it's not. There it is. And then what you do is you give it a redstone signal and it uh, goes ahead and breaks the block. But we want to do that automatically. And uh, this redstone clock from uh, Expanded Redstone is something that I also use for uh, one of the engines in Rotary Craft. So I thought let's uh, definitely talk about this one. Uh, just a piece of nether quartz, four redstone and four stone slabs. And that gives you the redstone clock. And then all you do is you can put it... You can set it to how often you want it to go off. So I set it to five ticks. Yeah, that doesn't really. I generally set it to twenty ticks. That's usually long enough for the cobblestone to come back, and it just spits it out the back. And you can grab a chest or a pipe or something, whatever you got. And it just goes right in. Terrific. So, uh, let's grab some more cobblestone, because we're going to want some more. And I'm also going to grab some netherrack. So, the uh, rock melter here uses the power of uh, shaft power. It spins that rotor underneath it to heat this thing. And it will melt either cobblestone or netherrack into lava. Uh, if you give it netherrack, it produces more lava substantially more. 
Um, but you can just feed it cobblestone. And it'll melt. It looks kind of neat because <laughs> you can see all the rock in there. I like it. And you can see the it's generating some lava. Okay, so we, that's how you can generate lava with Rotorcraft. It's easy, pretty easy. Um, but if you want to turn that into obsidian then, then we're going to need uh, an obsidian factory. And obviously you can use any lava source. If you find a lava source, you can just pump it up. But anyway, obsidian factory is crafted with two steel ingots, a glass pane, two liquid pipes, three base panels, and a mixer. Which, the mixer is made using an impeller, and you just add even more steel to it, and you get a mixer. Now the obsidian factory requires more power than this one. Um, I'm probably not powering this very efficiently, but I, it, I don't know how much power this thing wants. But anyway, the uh, obsidian factory, you can power it with uh, two steam engines. It requires uh, 32 kilowatts at two uh, kilorads. And you have to put the power in through the bottom. So let me grab a bevel gear here. Pop that on there. <laughs> Yellow and blue. Pop the obsidian factory on here. Now the obsidian factory has this GUI. You don't actually put anything in here. This is the output for the obsidian. So this thing can hold nine stacks of obsidian in its internal inventory. You see we have enough power, speed, and torque on here. And we got to give this a supply of water and a supply of lava. So I don't want the lava to start coming through here, so let's do that. Now we are filling it with water. It's got quite the internal storage on it. And then we can pump the lava into here. And the obsidian factory will turn that into obsidian. Now it takes about, um, it takes a 1,000 millibuckets worth of lava to create one obsidian. I believe. That's what it seemed to do. Because if you use an entire, one reservoir's worth of lava will produce 64 obsidian, so. That's how you can make some obsidian with, real, with uh, rotary craft. It's quick, it's simple, the machines aren't very expensive, they're not difficult to use. Obviously you can put any sort of lava supply into this thing that you want. Uh, there is a, uh, you need to keep track of this thing though, the obsidian factory. Um, if you leave it full of lava and no water for too long, uh, it'll eventually get so hot that it'll melt. So be very careful. Um, make sure you keep water in it. Here, let me just stick a, uh, a reservoir on here and you can see how quickly this thing operates. See, I just made two there. It's not bad. Even with just these two steam engines. A gas uh, engine will power this thing considerably faster. Um, but, of course, steam power is infinite. Cool. So that's how you guys can make some obsidian. And this is really nice. This is really good if you want to use uh, fuel lines, because fuel lines take obsidian. And, um, or if you just want to blast proof some stuff. <laughs> But yeah, that's how you craft, uh, that's how you produce obsidian using rotary craft and using expanded redstone to automate a cobble jet. Another great mod by Raycon. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. It's a short little quick episode. Um, I know you might have been getting tired of the really long ones. Um, next episode, I will be talking about the tunnel bore, uh, because that was requested by, um, Anthony Azumi. So yeah, I'll talk about the tunnel bore next episode. And you'll probably look for that tomorrow. Yeah. It seems kind of weird to make short videos like this. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm, I'm Sentinel H and I'm signing out.